children can you tell me something what is cold sweet and creamy and wonderful to eat yes of course it is an ice cream everyone's favorite treat especially on a hot summer day is an ice cream and everyone's favorite person might just be the ice cream man don't you agree with me children yes on this note let's start a new lesson the title of the lesson is the ice cream man the poem the ice cream man is written by rachel field children this poem is included in unit 1 of your marigold english reader now let me provide you with some information regarding the poetess rachel field the poetess rachel field was born in the year 1894 she passed away in 1942 she is an american poetess novelist and children's fiction writer she has written many children's novels and the most popular among them is hitty her first 100 years this novel has also won her the prestigious newbery award so this is it about the poetess children now let's start the poem The title of the poem is The Ice Cream Man. When summer is in the city and brick is a blaze of heat, the ice cream man with his little cart goes trundling down the street. Beneath his round umbrella, oh, what a joyful sight to see him fill the cones with mounds of cooling brown and white. vanilla chocolate strawberry or chili things to drink from bottles full of frosty fizz green orange white or pink his cart might be a flower bed of roses and sweet peas the way the children cluster round as thick as honey bees now let's look into the poem in detail when summer is in the city and brick is a blaze of heat the ice cream man with his little cart goes trundling down the street beneath his round umbrella Oh what a joyful sight to see him fill the cones with mounds of cooling brown and white vanilla chocolate strawberry or chili things to drink from bottles full of frosty fizz green orange white or pink his cart might be a flower bed of roses and sweet peas the way the children cluster round as thick as honey bees children Let's now discuss each stanza. Stanza 1. When summer is in the city and brick is a blaze of heat, the ice cream man with his little cart goes trundling down the street. Explanation to stanza 1. In the first stanza, the poetess Rachel Field drives home the idea as to how An ice cream man brings relief and joy to others on a scorching sunny day in the summer season. During the peak summer season, the
the rays of the sun are very bright and harsh. Even the bricks of buildings appear to be on fire. And the sight of an ice cream man on such a burning day moving slowly down the street is the most comforting sight for people. For he has the best remedy to soothe and calm parched throats. Stanza too. Beneath his round umbrella, oh, what a joyful sight to see him fill the cones with mounds of cooling brown and white. Explanation to stanza two. In the second stanza, the poetess explains why the sight of an ice cream man is soothing on a hot summer day. It is a joyful sight to watch the ice cream man fill or mound cones with different flavored ice creams like vanilla and chocolate. The ice cream cart has a round umbrella attached to it to provide shelter to the ice cream seller from the harsh rays of the sun. Stanza 3. Vanilla chocolate strawberry or chili things to drink from bottles full of frosty fizz, green, orange, white or pink. Explanation to stanza 3. In this stanza, we get to know the treats that the ice cream man has to offer to the people on a hot summer day. Apart from the chocolate, vanilla and strawberry flavored ice creams, he also sells fizzy cold drinks that are green, orange, white and pink in color. Stanza 4. His cart might be a flower bed of roses and sweet peas, the way the children cluster round as thick as honey bees. Explanation to stanza four. Towards the end, the poet compares the ice cream man's cart to a garden of roses and sweet peas. Just as the honey bees are drawn to these flowers for nectar, the little children gather or flock around the ice cream seller for their favorite ice cream. Children, this is the explanation to the poem, The Ice Cream Man. Let's now go through the new words included in the lesson. The first new word is blaze and it means bright flame or fire. The second word is trundling and it means moving on small broad wheels. The third word is mounds and it means heap or pile. The fourth new word is frosty fizz and it means chilled drink making a hissing bubbling sound. And the fifth new word is cluster and it means to gather around or a group of similar things. So these are the new words and their meanings children. Now let's discuss the next textual exercise. Reading is fun. Under this exercise, there are five questions. These are comprehension questions from the poem. Let's discuss them one by one, children. The first question is, in which season is ice cream popular? And you all know the answer, children. It is in the summer season that ice cream is popular. So let's jot down our answer. Ice cream is popular in summer season. Moving on to the second question. Who feels joyful on seeing the ice cream man? And the answer is obvious. It is the little children. So the answer is the children feel joyful on seeing the ice cream man. The third question is name the different flavors of ice cream the ice cream man has in his cart. And the answer is, the ice cream man has vanilla, chocolate and strawberry flavors of ice cream in his card. Moving on to the fourth question, what are the two things that the ice cream man is selling? We all know children, the ice cream man sells ice creams and cold fizzy drinks. So the answer is, 
the ice cream man is selling ice creams and chilled drinks from the bottles of frosty fizz moving on to the fifth and the last question what is the ice cream cart compared to in the poem the ice cream cart is compared to a flower bed in the poem this is all in today's video children thank you and have a great day